<laughs> okay. It's Dr. Mario time. Chill, because chill's the only way to play. So, uh, I was at a, a meeting the other day and we were trying to work out what we we're going to do during O Week for EVAC. And uh, EVAC's the video games club that I'm part of at Adelaide University. Uh, it's older than the PlayStation, or well, as old as the PlayStation. So, you know, it's a venerable institution, and O Week is our one time of the year to really recruit new members, so it's a pretty exciting time of year. It's really important to get off on the right track, and uh, we kind of joked about, uh, you know, throw out a line, you know, hey, maybe maybe we should throw down some Dr. Mario. I mean, it's a pretty extreme extreme sport here in the A-Town. It's pretty much the eSport of eSports here in the A-Town. And uh, but anyway, there's a little bit of enthusiasm for it from the usual suspects. Um, so... I guess that meant that I uh, was going to have to play some uh, some Dr. Mario on Friday night, uh, which is fine, except that I haven't played Dr. Mario in a mighty long time, and uh, I'm not generally very good at video games, so I thought I'd uh, better get in some practice. So that's why uh, I'm upstairs in the middle of the night, I've hooked up my old CRT, I've finally got my nest to work, and uh, I'm, I'm in training, going to play some Dr. Mario. Uh, yeah, so this way, hopefully, I won't be embarrassed by as much when Sean or Dave or someone else schools me at Dr. Mario, the game that theoretically I'm as good at as I am at any game. Which is not really saying that much, but it, this is this is my game, this is Dr. Mario. Uh, so, I'm in training. <coughs> Two levels down, uh, only all of the rest of them to go. Uh, now, I hope you can see this alright. Um, as usual, I'm just recording straight on my CRT, I don't believe in emulation. It's not so much that I don't believe in emulations, I don't know how. So, um, playing straight off my NES onto my CRT, I'm having a bit of trouble with the, um, with the colour. I've been having a bit of trouble with the colour, so I hope you can see what's going on. If you can't, there's a bunch of viruses which I am destroying because I am a pro at Dr. Mario. And by a pro, I mean not a pro. Um, but the ultimate aim here is to clear all the viruses uh, and to do so on all of the 21 levels in the game are on medium speed because it's impossible to do it. Well, it's not impossible to do it. It's incredibly unlikely that I would be able to perform such a feat uh, on the high speed. Uh, I can get up to about... I think my best is about level 15 or 16, something like that, on, on the high speed. Um, you got to be good, though. And um, considering that I haven't played this game for a few months, I'm going to go with another there today. So, you can see how far we go here. Hopefully, uh, I'll get myself in the right mindset that when it comes to EVAC on Friday, I'll be a bit of a force to be reckoned with, uh, even if I don't clear lines horizontally, which I am famously known for not doing. Um, this is famous in the world of Dr. Mario and Adelaide, of course, which is, which is, which is fairly serious business. Uh, we take a Dr. Mario pretty seriously down in the A-Town. Uh, as well, we should, because it is, after all, one of the best public games ever made. I don't think this, I don't think there's anyone out there disputing it. Uh, especially when you're playing with Chill. I mean, it's just, it's just the best soundtrack. Uh, so if you uh, if you follow my YouTube channel, if you've been here before, uh, you would know that uh, I have recorded Dr. Mario challenges before. Uh, so the, the the normal aim is just to finish all the levels, and that's what I'm going for again tonight. I'm not expecting to get there, but you know, just so you know what we're aiming for, we are. We're three levels into a 21 level challenge and we can even go further if we get that far, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. So, I don't really have all that much to say. You know how Dr. Mario works, I'm sure you all know how Dr. Mario works. If you don't, uh, well, maybe you'll have better luck than me at emulating it and you'll be able to get a try. Uh, I believe it's also out available on the Wii if you, you know, want to purchase a legitimate game. That's, I believe that's an option. I've got to find a way to get out. I need some blue viruses and I'm not getting them. That's a bit of a problem. With the mercy of the random number generator, and I suspect that my cartridge is showing its age, sometimes it gets a little bit, a little bit, a lot, stuck on particular colours and uh, combinations, and it just won't give you what you need to win the game. But give it long enough and it remembers that it can't just throw you red blocks. Um, and. Uh, you know, we'll get back to it. 
So the holy grail um, of Dr. Mario, in my personal opinion, uh, is finishing a level with a total 100% clear, you know, nothing else left on the bottom of the stage. Um, so that's, that's always sort of a, a bit of an aim in the back of my mind when I'm trying to finish a level, but I'm also aware that people don't want to just sit around watching me play the easy levels of Dr. Mario all night either, so um, I don't make it a high priority, but it is sort of something I'm sort of aiming for in the background. So if you see me doing something a little bit strange towards the end of a level, you know, stranger than normal, chances are I'm shooting for that. I'm shooting for that total clear. Uh, it, it really works out. I don't think I've ever done it, actually. So, you know, that's something to aim for. On these low levels, there's not a whole lot to say I'm not, I'm unlikely to make a mistake that's going to mean that I screw up um, so much that I die, but, you know, all it takes is a couple of viruses in the wrong spot and some nasty combinations and, and uh, the best laid plans of mice and men, you know, you sit in for a long session of Dr. Mario and sometimes, sometimes the worst just happens. Sometimes it, the, the game hates you. And sometimes you hate the game. Oh, you know, it's hard to believe I know that anyone could hate Dr. Mario, but sometimes, sometimes. What was that? I don't know. Uh, so, uh, someone was asking me the other day, um, when I said the other day, last time I was playing Dr. Mario, uh, I had some people asking me, you know, what do you do, what's your plan, theory for trying to clear, clear levels, and the answer is, I don't really have one. Just try and, uh, just try and get rid of as many viruses as quickly as I can, um, and because I'm not that good at thinking, I do them all pretty much all vertically. I'm not very good at thinking horizontally, as you all know. Uh, so... I'm having trouble seeing those red ones. I don't know if you guys are having quite as much trouble as I am. I hope you're not, otherwise this is going to be a really bad video. It's going to be these floating blue blocks and you won't get to see the viruses. I might put some glasses on in a second and see if I can see a little bit better. Because, um, you know, I'm a little bit blind without them. Well, no total clear there, that's for sure. Uh, I do have some things I like to do. I like to try and uh, clear myself a little bit of a gap um, on one of the sides or down the middle if I, if I possibly can, uh, just so that if things go horribly wrong, I've got somewhere I can dump stuff while I try and reboot my brain. Sometimes I just drop things in the wrong spot because I stop thinking for a moment. It's really nice to have somewhere you can just you can just dump um, while, you, while you gather your thoughts and try and come up with a... a ludicrously low percentage plan to get yourself out of it, so that's important. Oh hoy, that was, uh, yep, that's that's our first brain trade for the night, and that's the second one. Go team. Uh, that shouldn't be too bad, I can get out of this. Uh, somehow. Oh, we're in red mode. No, that's okay. Just dump a few things here and try and dig ourselves out of this. Yeah, so it doesn't take much to just drop a couple of blocks in the wrong spot and then you're really fighting uphill to try and get things back on track. But at this, at this point, at this speed, we're not going to have any trouble, are we? Just means we look a little bit dumb to all those thousands of people watching our Dr. Mario videos on the internet. So, hi you thousands of people, uh, thanks for dropping by. Uh, this is, uh, I'm Ted, and I play Dr. Mario too much. Way too much. Because after all, I'm in training for a serious event this Friday uh, down at EVAC. If you're in Adelaide looking for something to do on a Friday night, come down to EVAC, the Adelaide University Video Games Club. We're in the Harry Medlin rooms of Adelaide University in Union House. Uh, you can find our details on Facebook or... Uh, you know, on our on our website, we still have one of those. Uh, yeah, come along, enjoy some good old fashioned video gaming, some good old fashioned board gaming, some nice people, and uh, you know there should be giveaways and prizes and stuff. Being the beginning of the year, you never know, could happen. Uh, I believe we're planning a Smash Brothers tournament, uh, and there's going to be some good retro games, a little bit of Goldeneye, and uh, far too much Dr. Mario. So if that sounds like something you're into, I'd love to throw down a game or two. Uh, I'm also planning on. Uh, with some of some of the rest of the game, teaching some Japanese mahjong. So, if your grandmother plays mahjong, uh, or if you play mahjong and you want to learn 
um, the fun way to do it, the way to play it so that it's a good game, um, a significantly better game than it might otherwise be, uh, and the way that all the cool kids are doing it, uh, then um, come on down to EVAC and this Friday, and we'll teach, or any Friday, and we love the game, uh, and we'll very happily teach you how to play Marshall. So yeah, there's a lot going on. Uh, you never know. Get together enough people, we might play diplomacy, but I'm not going to push my luck. Because I'd like us all to still be friends at the end of the day. Um, playing Dr. Mario like this by myself isn't great training for a 1v1 competition. You know, player versus player competition. Uh, just because as much as you got to operate, you know, you get some practice playing fast. Uh, 1v1 is, is mostly all about the blocks that you drop on your opponents. You're trying to clear multiple sets of viruses at the same time and therefore drop a bunch of nasty stuff on your opponent. Uh, in, in single player, it's a little bit less about that because it makes no difference at all you don't drop things on an opponent because there is no opponent. Uh, so it's, it's not quite so relevant and therefore you're sort of training yourself in bad habits, training yourself to clear things faster rather than messing around with your opponent, which is the thing that makes Dr. Mario really good. Um, I mean, a lot of puzzle games um, in the same sort of vein have you drop things on your opponent to really make life difficult for them. Um, Dr. Mario is really the only one I have proper experience with, so it's the only one I can really talk about, but it's, it's, got, it's got this wonderful mechanic where the, the blocks you drop are the blocks that you drop on your opponent, the little bits of viruses, and it's randomised where you drop them, but you've got a lot of control over, due to the timing, where you drop stuff and when. And that's that's really cool. It's a really really nice mechanic you don't see in many games, um, just because the things that you drop on your opponents in most other games are reasonably random. Well, why don't I just clear that and finish it? Okay. So we're six levels in. We get a congratulations screen. Congratulations, you don't completely suck. Okay. So I haven't completely lost my game while I've uh, been not playing Dr. Mario. It seems like I still. Know, uh, know all the buttons. It's, uh, I guess it's a little bit like riding a bicycle. Um, you just don't really forget how it works, huh? Uh, I've never, I haven't ridden a bicycle in a really long time because going up hills really hard and, and when you're as fit as I am, um, everything seems like a hill, so, yep, that's the thing. But, uh, you know, apparently you never forget, so you should try that out sometime, see if it's true, but I certainly. My thumb is seen to recall how to play Dr. Mario, so that's that's really nice. It means that the the hours of my life that I've invested in this game haven't been a, a total waste. That's 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 good to know. Um, yes, Dad, if you're listening, the hours of my life are dedicated to this game. I know it's a video game and I know it's not even a particularly, you know, good one. But yeah, it's I blame the parents. Yeah, it's like riding a bike. Uh, thankfully, it's like riding a bike and not like rollerblading because I suck at rollerblading. Pretty much last time I went rollerblading, I got my face cut open and had to go to hospital. So, yep, it's like riding a bike. Just You can see this habit I have of leaving stacks of three around. Uh, and that's, that's that habit born out of multiplayer competition where you're trying to set up multiple drops of, drops of three so that you can clear multiple sets of viruses with the same drop and thus um, drop a bunch of stuff on your opponents. So, a bit of an in, ingrained habit, that one. Uh, which, it's fine, you know. Shows that I, I haven't completely forgotten how to play uh, multiplayer either, so that's, that's nice. But I think it's so ingrained in my, in my play style now that it probably doesn't, it's probably not worth a whole lot. Oh, here we go. We, this, this is this is a candidate for a full clear. He says as he gets a yellow block. That's that's a bit of a pity. No, oh, I guess we should stop wasting people's time. It's not going to happen. Okay. Oh, red blocks. That's just annoying. That's. Oh, here we go. No, that's not too bad. Uh, so I didn't really have a plan for what I was going to talk about while I was playing this game, because it's really just... I was really just planning to play the game. In fact, 
Calling it a plan is really a bit much. It's just the middle of the night and I can't sleep, so here I am upstairs playing Dr. Mario. Um, whether I can't sleep because I'm worried about my performance in the Dr. Mario tournament later, uh, later in the week, or I, I, I've got to say, I think that's probably unlikely. It could just be to do with the fact that my wife's not here to tell me just to go to sleep, and I am really undisciplined. So, Laura, if you're listening uh, in the United States, A, what are you doing listening to me in the United States, doing you have better things to do? And B, hey dear, I promise after this I'll go straight to sleep. Honest. Oh, what was that? Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the best plan I've ever. Oh wow. Okay, maybe it was. That was cool. Completely unintended, but also, I mean, I'm great at this game. See, yeah, I got I got all the skills. Yep. So yeah, uh, once again, I found myself up in the middle of the night. Playing Dr. Mario in a dark room, uh, because that's what you do. That's what I do. Is that what you guys do? And what do you guys play in a dark room? I'm sure there's video games involved somewhere, because here you are watching a YouTube video um, about someone playing Dr. Mario in the middle of the night. Um, thanks for dropping by, though. It's nice. I don't get to do this uh, hanging out on the internet posting YouTube videos thing anywhere near as much as I'd like to, so... Um, yeah, if you've got other things that you think I should do on my YouTube channel, uh, apart from Battle for Wesnoff videos and rap music, which are both sort of in the works for sort of a hiatus at the mo moment, particularly the rap videos, because I can't find anything good that rhymes with Menzies, um, then yeah, do you drop us a line. See what we can work out. Uh, if you're watching this, you're probably either a member of my family or a member of the Video Games Club, so hi to you guys. Um, if you're a member of my family, uh, yeah, this is what I do. Um, this is what I'm doing when I'm at home by myself. This is why I've been visiting you guys a lot, because playing Dr. Mario. Yep. It's sort of one of those addictions that you can't really get rid of. I imagine it's sort of like smoking, but having never smoked in my life, I, I don't know really how valid that comparison is. But Dr. Mario has certainly been a presence in my life um, for a long time, pretty much as long as we've had a Nintendo. It's just, there's something mesmerizing about all those little viruses. Don't you guys think so? I don't know. Yep, so we're up to level... Uh, level 8, so in terms of percentage of way through the game, um, not very far. And I'm run out of things to talk about. Uh, which is one of many reasons why they don't let me on the stage at our comp, because I'm just not that interesting. Don't have all that much to say to you today. So, um, uh, yep. I guess you can do a little bit of a update on life, the universe and everything, uh, if you haven't caught up lately. Uh, haven't been going along to eBay that much, it's one of the reasons I'm a little bit excited about going along this week, I've got a little bit of free time, so should be good to catch up with the guys. Uh, I've been mostly spending my time between working and um, you know, pretending to be a good house husband. Um, I say pretending because um, the state of the mess all over most of the floors, all the flat surfaces and some of the not quite so flat surfaces uh, indicates that maybe um, maybe there's a little bit that could be desired um, in my in my cleaning abilities, but you know it's the it's the thought that counts. Uh, pretty sure. Uh, and apparently, I'm spending way too much time thinking about Dr. Mario uh, instead of cleaning. But shh, don't tell anyone. I'll never know. It'll be our little secret, okay? Internet buddies. That is assuming that I can even upload this video. I've been having uh, quite a lot of trouble with my computer of late, so... Uh, if you don't see this video, then you won't know that I'm talking to you, but... Yeah, that would be bad. Since you do have seen this video, hi! I totally managed to fix my computer problems, and... Uh, now I have an awesome new computer that doesn't suck, I'm sure. 
Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, so my computer's running really slow. Um, I didn't, you know, you get kind of used to computer running slow. My, my computer's a, a 2008 um, Mac laptop, so it's getting towards sort of the end of its life. When I say getting towards the end of its life, it's it's well past the end of its life. But I've been, I've been putting up with it for years and just sort of, you get used to the way that things run and you don't really notice that there's anything wrong with them. But uh, I attempted in some madness to play um, to play Counter-Strike Global Offensive uh, on the internet with some friends of mine the other night, because uh, that's what the cool kids do now, apparently. Um, and didn't quite realise how bad my computer was until I realised that they had basically half finished all the games that I entered before I even got into them. Uh, and then, you know, they could find me and shoot me before I even, you know, was able to realise they were even there. Um, which doesn't say quite as much about how terrible I am at uh, first-person shooters as you might think, but um, that's, de that's definitely part of a contributing factor. One of the contributing factors. I'm not, not very good. I do have some skills in the Dr. Mario department. A little bit of skill, not not that much. I suspect on Friday night that even when I've been practicing and other people haven't, that probably going to get my ass handed to me by either Sean or Dave, because uh, that's what happens. You know, talk yourself up on the internet and then people destroy you. At least, at least you know I'm not doing it in front of a live studio audience or anything. It would be really embarrassing to go on a TV show as like the world's best something and then get beaten. Probably make good TV. But yeah. Oh horizontal clear, I never do that. Woo! that. That was not good. That's what that was. Oh, wait. Yes, it was. Oh, hey. oh, man. I'm on fire tonight with the accidental clears. Rocking. That bodes really well for the later levels when I'm screwing things up royally. I'm starting to get a little bit uh, confident here, aren't I? I think I'm going to get to the later levels. It would be pretty good to finally finish that um, that aim, the marathon aim of finishing all the way from level zero to to level twenty in one hit. I um, last time I was sort of playing Dr. Mario on a semi regular basis, I got up to um, being at a clear level twenty sort of half the time uh, on on medium speed uh, and about ten percent of the time on the high speed. So that's not really enough to uh, given that 18, 19, 20 are all pretty similar levels of difficulty, it's not really enough if, I, if I'm if i going at 50%, which I assume I've got worse since then. But if I'm shooting at 50%, then uh, the, my chances of me getting to and then fixing, beating, sorry, uh, level 20 are actually still not that not that great. Once upon a time, I would have been good enough to see six to tell you how good they were. Um, but I'm, I'm not that boy anymore. Um, Gotten more than I possibly ever knew. But, yeah. Oh well. Things never quite. Hmm. I feel like you're going to get some cool, funky sideways clears, and then you, you know, just to. Just to mess with all those people that say you can't do it, and then you realise, no. The world just doesn't want you to do the funky stuff. There we go, level 9 down, level 10, here we come. 44 viruses, I can do that.
Nope. Sometimes you sort of aim to do things and you do dumb stuff like that. Sometimes the colours just don't match up in a way that you really like them to, to just look like. It's all about looking like you know what you're doing. It would be really nice if sometimes things just came together in a really... A way that made people go, wow, this guy's got mad Dr. Mario skills. The truth is really like that. Yes, you've probably worked out by now. I don't. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear me all the way over there, because I'm a long way from my microphone, which wasn't wasn't great planning if I was gonna, you know, try recording this, but I don't have mad Dr. Mario skills. How's that for a stage whisper? Speaking of stage whispers, shout outs to my man Pitchy, who's uh, who's in a show at the Adelaide Fringe this weekend. Uh, he's doing uh, what is it? Oh, this weekend? No, a few weekends time. No, I think it's this weekend. Uh, he's doing Inconceivable, which is a play based on uh, The Princess Bride. Uh, I went to see it earlier in the year uh, when he did it um, locally, and it was so good they're putting it on again. They're putting it on again. Uh, had a lot of fun when you see that. Even though I'm not a big Princess Bride fan, I know I'll probably get shouted out of the uh, uh, shouted off the internet for that. But I'm not really, I don't really get the thing about the Princess Bride. Um, like some people do, some people seem to think it's like this cult movie, amazing extravaganza, so witty, so clever. I never really got that from the Princess Bride. Um, but you know, it's fine. It's a fine movie, and it was a good play. So. Well, I could complain, but that would be rather ungrateful since I had a good night out, so, yeah. Now, the problem with um, starting at level zero, quite, a fact from this, quite aside from the fact that you run out of things to say to a disinterested audience that you'd really like to keep interested so that they keep watching the video, uh, it's just that it's, it's just long. Like, it's, it's a long time to concentrate, even though you don't have to concentrate that hard to, to finish the early, early levels. Um, just a long time. You're, you're talking at least an hour for a playthrough here, and the first, the first half an hour, forty minutes of that, uh, are, you can do pretty much on autopilot, you know. Um, which is, it's hard to, to change gears when you need to and to stay, keep your game in a place where you can sort of be competitive. It's also really hard to get the right colours. I was going to say we have another candidate here for full clear, but I think I put those reds in such a place that it's not really worth it. Oh well, one day I'm going to get that. Oh, there's another congratulations screen, but I'm so keen to get on with it that, that we missed it. Uh, probably something is going to fly past. They generally do. I don't even... It's been so long since I played Dr. Mario that I don't even remember what the thing that's going to fly past when level 10 is. I'm sure there's someone out there that knows. Um, but it does change depending on the difficulty level that you play on. Uh, so... And every now and then it's a surprise because I'm expecting a witch or something and I get like a, a flying turtle, a flying Koopa. Uh, and yeah, never really know. No, I think it's a flying turtle, I don't think it's a Koopa. You know, it wouldn't make sense for a Dr. Mario game to have a flying Koopa, but things don't always make sense in the world of Dr. Mario. I mean, if they did, you probably wouldn't just be throwing viruses at, be throwing drugs at viruses. It's not really a sensible. Um, solution to the world's health problems, uh, as much as as much as the current resolution to what's going on with Ebola in in Africa might make you think it doesn't. You can't just solve the world's problems by throwing drugs, oh, or by sucking at the game. That won't help either. Yeah, doing dumb things because you're trying to make political commentary while playing while playing a video game about uh, drugs. Is it about drugs? Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's a video game about not being Tetris. Who knows? You can you can pick either one of those interpretations or another interpretation. Um, it's a free country. It's a free world. It's a free internet for now.
uh, if you're living in one of those places where it's not a free country. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, that's nice. Um, but, you know, the time will come. I'm sure the internet service providers will be first against the wall when the revolution comes. <laughs> Who am I kidding? There's no one watching this apart from you guys. Um, friendly people that I know in Adelaide. But that's cool, because the A-Town is, after all, where it's all happening. Uh, it's where the Dr. Mario is happening, it's where all the cool stuff is happening. This is... Colours are not coming together for me. hungry. I guess I'm hungry because it's like 3am and I haven't eaten anything since dinner time. Did the internet need to know that, Tom? No. Maybe I'm going to stop talking for a while just because there's nothing to say. I'm going to gonna let you enjoy the joy of chill. Because it's pretty damn good as a soundtrack. Yeah, I can't really deal with the awkward silences. Um, I feel like I'm letting you guys down, you know, you imaginary people on the internet, just because I'm sure you came here to listen to me talk about random topics, so... Yeah. It's not like people click on click on Dr. Mario videos that are evidently Dr. Mario videos uh, from, from everything about them to... Uh, to watch Dr. Mario or anything. I mean, you must be here for my incisive political commentary. Um, but I don't have anything to say. There's really nothing to say that's not terribly depressing about political commentary about politics in Australia uh, at the moment, so I'm not going to even bother. Bit of cop-outs, isn't it? I think I used to it. I'm the king of cop-outs. I say I do things and I always do them. Say I'm gonna, you know, talk in my videos, and then I run out of things to say. I don't know how people that do this sort of YouTube thing regularly. I don't know how they plan to to do stuff, like how they fill a video full of content. I guess most people don't just play an hour-long game of Dr. Mario to uh, to have to fill with random talking. If they do, it sort of need some interaction, but. Um, yeah, I just feel like maybe I'm not cut out for uh, playing videos on the internet. I know it seems to be a, a profitable thing that everyone's doing these days, but uh, when I say everyone, it's a couple of people that you, heard, you hear of, even I hear of, and I live under a rock. Um, and it's just not for me. One day I'm going to find the thing that's for me, and it's going to be awesome. Until then, I guess I'm going to just... Play Dr. Mario and make substandard uh, videos. God, I love them double players. Be driving anyone who's playing against nuts right now. Sick of waiting. Sick of waiting for the right, right blocks. I'm just going to stick them in there. Deal with the consequences later. 
can become a bit of a grind. You know, the, like the tough bits of the tough bits of these levels is really the first. Well, there's two different tough bits, I guess. Uh, the tough bits are the first bit where you're um, trying to deal with the fact that the viruses are right up the top and causing you all sorts of problems because you just don't have the time to fix them uh, before they sort of fill up the screen. And the second tough bit is the bit where uh, where you spent so much time in that earlier stage trying to clear those those viruses that you just have no time left to to fix the ones down the bottom because everything's just really fast. Um, yeah, I guess that's the two the two ways this game can become really challenging. But if you've had a good run at the beginning, uh, it can be a little bit annoying. Like you just spend some time trying to make some simple clears down the bottom. You don't get the right colours, and you're just kind of wasting your time waiting for the right ones. And it's not there's no challenge in it. You know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be easy. And there we go. Level twelve down, ninety seven thousand points on the school board, and. Uh, we just keep going. It's a double block kind of day. If you have lots of yellow blocks dropping in succession, my I was saying earlier, I think there's a bit of a problem with my cartridge. Normally it just drops red block after red block after red block. Um, but it's not doing that today, so that's, that's, that's nice. It's always good to spice it up with a little bit of variety. Come on, give me some red blocks. You really do with the bug right now. There we go. Too little, too late, man. Not just too little, it's not too late. Sometimes I forget which way the, the thing rotates. I mean, it, it would make sense. They're on the right sides that you would feel like it rotates down this way, rotates around that way. But sometimes when you're pressing those A and B buttons and you, you haven't done a rotation in one, one or other direction in a little while, you just kind of lose your mind. I'm good at losing my mind, so I guess that's the thing. But I guess the thing that really uh, sorts out the, the good button, um, buttons, button pressing button people the gamers, you know, the, the people that are good at games, uh, and and the scrubs like myself is the is the ability to to panic, uh, well to not panic and to continue to press the right buttons. I get a little bit distracted, and uh, you know, as in in Doctor Mario, as in Street Fighter, I just do the silly things, uh, and you know, turn a turn a bad position into a terrible one. Uh, Story of my life. So this is all going really well. These guys are sitting down in nice doubles. This is a really gentle level. Um, would have been really good to set up a bunch of nice bonuses, but I didn't. Uh, you know, lots of these lots of these viruses are sitting next to each other, like they really want to be cleared on that, which is nice. That was that was a pretty quick uh, pretty quick solve, if I say so myself. I mean, it's a random, so it's not like you can compare your times to other people's times for the same level or anything like that. But sometimes you get out of a level and you feel like you you really didn't drop too many redundant blocks. You know, sometimes you have to drop blocks that don't match, um, but sometimes you can sort of put them to effective use. Um, and sometimes you just end up clearing them straight away, like I am now. 
And that's okay too. It's just about getting down as quickly as you can to those uh, to the levels that matter and try to keep keep your brain intact for that time because when that time comes I'm going to be needing every smidge smidge of my brain. It's my brain. Uh, it is the middle of the night and I am supposed to be asleep. I'm just starting to feel my brain go, hmm, it's time to sleep. Uh, so of course I should just turn the Nintendo off and, and go to sleep now, but I think I think we all know each other well enough to know that's not going to happen no, right now. I um, feel like I'm on a bit of a Dr. Mario roll, so all I've got to do is keep my eyes open and keep my brain on, which... You know, the neighbor's dog stood up, which could be a little bit difficult, um, given my propensity for being really dumb. Come on, give me some lads. Get a little bit distracted trying to clear the same area over and over again. Sometimes it just takes you got to you got to turn your brain back on and say, uh, actually, not really, not really a priority at the moment. You're making getting with the same set of blocks over and over again. Sometimes it's good just to spread things out, try and make some patterns somewhere and, and go from there. See, this has been... The last level was really great. This has been a really inefficient clear. Like, I'm dropping a lot of these sets of blocks places where they, they're just not useful. Um, and I'm having to clear them. Uh, blocks, balls, pills. Pills! I guess they're pills. Uh, you know, just dropping lots of, lots of pills in places. that are, They're pretty redundant. And of course, the more pills you drop, the faster the game gets, and that's that's how you lose. That's how you lose the game after a good start. You know, you spend a lot of, you get distracted from your priorities, and you you do dumb stuff. See, I'm just dropping bad block after bad block here. Um, don't do what Tommy don't does. I believe is the the appropriate slogan at this time. Do what I say, not what I do, and what I do. He's had a bit of a brain fade, but it's it's better to have it now at level 14 when things are manageable. Uh, instead of a little bit later when you can I'm gonna to want to be on the top of my game. Not really expecting that to happen, but it'd be it'd be nice to to think that, you know, when the big game comes around that uh, that I'll be on fire. But tonight's just a training run after all. It's not really important, I'm not actually expecting to finally finally make my aim of completing the marathon. So it's really just a training run for Friday. Um, but, you know, when the when the pressure gets to you, it's hard to remember that, isn't it? It's, uh, get a little bit caught up in winning, finishing. You just get so, so caught up in this game. It's really bad for me. Look at all these horizontal clears. Oh, am I having a game? Uh, the answer to that question is yes, I am having a game. This is a game. Video game. Oh, oh that was... Okay. Don't be dumb and don't be head on the side because when you put your head on your side and try to play video games, you drop things in not straight lines and that doesn't work. It makes you bad at games. And it's just a little bit faster than I thought it was. And that causes me to do dumb things. There's a red virus in that bottom corner, I didn't even notice it. What was that? It was dumb, that's what that was.
Come on, blue blocks. Come on, you blue blocks. This is dumb. You would think, when there's only three colours in a game, that it would be hard to not get a colour for this many blocks in a row, but Dr. Mario hates me. You can see him there, smugly smiling under his moustache. Hates me. What a jerk. So yeah, um, you can see it's starting to get a little bit tighter around the top. Uh, and you can also see my, my standard tactic is to, to try and spread things out. Um, but I'm not actually convinced that that's the best tactic. I think the best tactic is probably just to make as many clears as you can, as quickly as you can. Um, this way looks really impressive when it works, um, so we'll go with that. Um, but it's not a tactic that I would suggest that, that you employ if you're considering taking um, taking Dr. Mario as an elective at uni or something like that. Uh, that's the thing you can do, right? I mean, if you can't, you should be able to. If you can if you can do a degree in, in crossword puzzles, you should be able to do a degree in Dr. Mario. It's a game with pretty much as complexity, as much complexity and depth um, as any other, uh, especially crossword puzzles. Amer you know, American style crossword puzzle, there's a bit of depth in encrypted crosswords. Um, Alright, I'm just being silly now. Please, crossword people, don't hurt me. Oh, I really do. I really do like me a crossword, even if I don't get a chance to do an American one every every so um, you know, all that often. And if you're going to do American crosswords, you need to do them all the time because you really need to get yourself in that crossword brain. You know, if you spend all your time doing you spend all your time doing cryptics. You you remember a bunch of different. Uh, you know, you know that sailor could be a clue for A, B, or a clue for tar, or a clue for salt, you know, like a bunch of different code words. And, uh, but that, it's not really applicable in in the American crosswords that, uh, that aren't cryptic, but have these sort of, like, semi-cryptic semi, semi sort of um, clues. The, 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 the skills don't really transfer across, apart from the vocabulary, which, which I never had anyway. But, um... Yeah, the skills are, the skills aren't transferable, so you, you sort of do one or the other, and you forget you forget the little tricks that you need to know to do to do one or the other. Um, you know, I know when I was doing American crosswords a lot back a few years ago, got really good at you know those TV show hosts whose names were short and therefore they appear in crosswords all the time. That was dumb. Um, you know, knowing various novelists who, whose names are short and therefore appear in crosswords all the time, that sort of thing. But you forget that stuff, and, and the popular people of the day change. You've got to really keep up that, that popular knowledge if you're going to do that. Whereas if you're going to do British British style or cryptic crosswords, you basically just need to um, remember all the positions you know, on a cricket pitch, the different ways you can get out in cricket, uh, and, you know, slang terms for British political parties and stuff like that. Which, of course, comes, comes naturally to Australians, not... But you, you get used to it. Sometimes you just got to learn this stuff. Now, how do we get onto this? Oh, right, I was making fun of crossword puzzles because I'm a bad person. Yeah, I, I really, I'm going to stop now. Just going to play some Dr. Mario. Try and stretch out my body because I've been sitting still for too long. Fifteen down, tree time. I wonder. I don't really. I don't remember what this one is either. Shall we just sit and watch it for a second while I? Oh, stretch out my body. Yep. All right. Things are starting to get serious. Just a little bit serious. The next five levels are really going to test my concentration. Oh. What was that? Is it a spacecraft? I've never seen that one before. I don't stop and watch these very often. All right.
Come on, I just need a little bit more blue than I'm getting at the moment, guys. Really do with some blue. Now that's the sort of stack that's just in a dangerous spot. Like if you, if you, if you make a mistake there and and drop, if I drop that virus round the wrong way, which I which I almost did, I'm sure you all noticed that. Um, then you can pretty much screw up your entire game. Like you make a, a tower stack there, and then all it takes is one one momentary lapse, and you you've actually killed yourself because you dropped a dropped a virus somewhere that is completely irredeemable. Like that you just can't get around when you drop it. So you do have to be just a little bit mindful. Little situations like that sneak up on you. You, you don't see them coming, and, and suddenly, and suddenly, the last forty-five minutes of how long have we been playing this now? It feels like about an hour, but I suspect it's it's shorter than that. It always always seems longer than it is. Oh, horizontal clears, Tom. You are on fire. Um, yeah, then it, it's all a waste, and and that's that. That'd be. Be really sad to get this far and then just crash and burn on level level 16. Not even one of those tense situations. You just sort of freeze up and do something really dumb. And that's, that's most of the time in Dr. Mario how you die. You know, you want to, and it's not a bad way to be. When you die, when you die feeling like you've done something dumb, that's really tempting to, to load up and go again. You know, and that's really the sign of a good game. When you've just been beaten by the game because the game hates you. You know, you've got some bad numbers. Um, that's just annoying. It doesn't make you want to want to have you know want to load up the gameplay again. I really like it when um, you know when I get beat by me being just being really stupid. It just makes me want to want to get back and prove that I'm not as dumb as I look. Sometimes um, I know trying to prove that to a game is pretty dumb, but um, yep, it's a bit of one of those self self defeating cycles, self fulfilling prophecies, self. It's a self thing. Yep. I'm gonna go with this. Try to. I don't know. What's the matter? Clear the thing somehow. Yeah, this is going really quite well. Like, apart from a, a bit of a short scare there with that with that stack right up the top, you see this is getting faster, this is getting a lot faster. So this is when it starts to get a bit of a challenge, level sort of 16 and above. But you can see we're, we're tracking pretty well. We've been doing quite... We've been winning this quite comfortably without having to worry about it too much, which is good. Now, things are going to get harder here, but sometimes you just sort of get a sense that that things are working for you, and I've got that sense at the moment, which is nice because, like I said, I haven't played this game in a, in a long time, and a little bit worried that I'd be rusty. But this is—it feels good. It's possible that my sense is rusty, and it's, this isn't actually good. Which is, I've got that red—that red stack over there could be a little bit hard to clear, but. Yeah, I'm feeling, feeling good about this, provided I can 
Try if I can get the appropriate drop on in here, which I think that will do. Um, this could all this could all come together quite nicely. Uh, just as he says that, he realizes that he's screwed this up. Gotta get the right guy to drop in there before things get too fast and uncomfortable. And I gotta focus on what's coming next, or I'm gonna lose! You know, I could drop one of these in there, but I really, yeah, I really want that red blue just to really kill off that pile. That's great. See, it's gone from my biggest threat out there to no threat at all, which is just, it's just nice. Sometimes it's worth waiting. Sometimes it's better just to play it safe and play for a longer, you know, know that you're setting yourself up for a longer game, but at least you, you're giving yourself a chance to play a longer game. Sometimes, you know, if the speed creeps up on you and and you, you've left yourself a stack that you just can't clear, then it's just a matter of time till you lose. And sometimes it's better just to play without the stack and, and deal with the fact that things are going to get faster. I don't know what's, I don't know what's best, so I'm just play it by, play it by ear, play it by how, how confident I'm feeling, and like I was saying earlier, I'm feeling, feeling pretty confident, which is not a feeling I'm very used to. Um, not really a confidence guy, not really a confidence player. Um, I can tell I'm not feeling really confident because when I do get confident, I touch my nose a lot. I'm like, when you're playing pool and you make a good shot, it's just like, touch my nose. That's how you know that I'm feeling pretty good about myself is if I'm touching my nose. And I'm not touching my nose right now. I know you can't tell that because you're watching the Dr. Mario, but I'm not doing it. Or that, or, you know, since i got glasses, sometimes I push up my glasses like I'm that guy in that creepy anime. Um, but that's mostly just because I haven't got them fitted to my face properly. Because I am scared of medical professionals, or publishers included. Yep, don't know why I was doing that. Wasn't that, that's for sure. Okay, that'll work. You got this annoying block I dropped here because I wasn't focused on. Man, it'd be really annoying to play against me right at the moment. I'm dropping a lot of double bricks. Yeah, you're you're in you're in for it, Sean. You know, if I if I play like this on Friday, like in a pressure situation, I've got I've got things going for me, and and chances on my side as well. I feel like you might be in trouble, and I know that. You know, you'll just you'll just blame it on the fact that we'll be playing NES version instead of SNES version, and you know, you haven't been practicing as much as I have. Um, but you know, you you might actually legitimately be in be in for a bit of a scare. I might I might give you a run for your money on Friday. It could be a good game. Um, so you know, if you're in Adelaide, and even if you're not, you know, like a Doctor Mario tragic, it could be a good game. I come watch. Um, this Friday, which is probably by this time, well, okay, it's already Thursday morning, so by the time this video uploads, it's probably after Friday anyway, because YouTube hates me, um, or my computer hates me, or there's a lot of hate in this room tonight, this dark, lonely room in the middle of the night, there's a lot of hate for a dark, lonely room in the middle of the night, it's a bit sad. Seventeen is down. One hundred and ninety-four thousand on the score scoreboard. Yeah, let's go with the scoreboard.
And I'm, I'm going to get really quiet now because it's concentration time. Otherwise, I'll do what I almost did then, and I will screw up. Just at the beginning of these levels, you really got to focus, and I'm not good at focus, and my eyes are getting tired, so it's a bit of a thing. Not optimal gaming conditions tonight. Oh, come on. Sometimes it feels like these sets of blocks just never empty. You feel like you've got a set of four there, and you had a set of four there for ages, but it's just not there. I'll take that. See, in this case, when I'm just trying to clear stuff off the top, you get l you're get less interested in those setting up those big sets. I mean, it's really hard because you, you play for those big sets all the time. You know, those those double and triple souls. And then you got to sort of train your brain out of doing them in this situation because if you do it and you screw up, which you, you always do, um, then you've just really squandered a good opportunity. And what you need to do is just play a little bit safe, make some gaps like I'm making here, and then and then wait for the right blocks to, to clean up on the right, on the right-hand side, which is what I'm going to do here. And I'm going to get the red zone. I hate it when you hit the red zone. Okay, here we go. Yeah, hey, it got there. I was a bit worried it wasn't quite going to get there. But it got there, so... There's a level signed off. More or less signed off. I mean, I can't imagine it going wrong from this point. I got a, I got a, I got a right imagination. I mean, I can imagine it, but it's not going to happen. You know, like some things are just low percentage. It's a low percentage play. Things going wrong from this point. I'm, yeah, very good. So, crisis averted for one more level. That's nice. You can feel the adrenaline sort of easing out of my system for a little while there. Just got a little bit up tight when I felt like things just weren't clearing up the top. Some, you know, when you're that, when you're two or three viruses in height from the very top and you're dropping colours on on colours that don't match, that's it's not a good feeling. Like, it's a bad feeling. But we're all good now. It's, I find it really fascinating the way that your brain is like trying to prioritize these different targets. Like a lot of the spots here require the same blocks to be dropped. And some of them, you know, you, you got to drop the same pills in the same sort of place and they're going to give you the same result. But the way that my brain sort of prioritizes some over others, I find really fascinating. Like particularly I find myself focusing on ones on the edges. I'm not convinced that's actually necessary, but that's what my brain does. I'm gonna do stuff, stuff like that. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, uh, you can know, just. Oh! Oh! Oh no! This is a disaster! What are we doing? This is not how you do it. Clear that junk. Clear it! Clear it, I said! That's nice. Yeah, it's just interesting if your brain sort of focuses on one area over and over again. You end up putting suboptimal pieces there because you're focusing on an area that you shouldn't be focusing on. I, I just find the... I find that whole thing fascinating. Um, and and the trying to train your brain out of those habits that you identify really interesting as well. That's why oh, I, it's probably one of the reasons I've never quite got over this game. That despite the fact this game is Doctor Mario, it's a really simple game. There's three colors. You just make sets of four. 
Like, it's hard to think of a more simple puzzle game than this. Or just like a more simple video game, generally. Don't fall in the holes. Like, um, it's a really simple game, but it's doing things to your brain, you know? Like, it's making think, making you think things. Uh, and, I, and I find that idea fascinating that whether, whether they're intending to or not, um, someone sort of manipulating the way that my brain is working um, and making me think in certain ways. And I'm sure it's good for me to use my brain in those sort of ways. And I could do with more things in my life that are good for me. Got a, you know, little ball of self-destructive habits over here, so, yeah. What was that? I don't know. Doesn't matter, we got this. Alright, that's 18 down. And you know, 18 is practically there. Oh, what was that? Now we're going to wait for him for a blue block. Or yellow block. That'll do. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that's not nice. really not good. Oof. Okay. Could really do with a double yellow just about now just to get this back on where I want to be at. Thank you. Whoa, gee, it's high pressure situation. We need to get those right. There's also sort of a situation where sometimes it feels like as soon as things are down, you can press the button and move it. But if you if you if you press the button and try to move it just before that, that uh, what do you call that um, pill pill? Wow, it is late. Uh, before that pill has dropped, then it doesn't move. You know, so getting the timing right is just a point of absolute precision and. Uh, Sometimes you miss that, so it basically gets you this feeling that you, sometimes you've got to be really fast to make things work, and you just never know if it's going to pull off. You, every time, every time I got this virus is near the top there, and I just need the exact right push, or I'm stuffed because I'm if I don't get it, I dropped a virus, I dropped a pill somewhere where I just can't redeem myself. Um, every time I get my heart in my mouth, you know, I have trouble breathing, I need a drink. Serious business. This video games thing cannot be good for your health. Not only just because you're up in the middle of the night playing video games on the internet, but also just because just because the stress, you know? This video games are stressful business. It's serious business. And this isn't even like esports. I, I know... I know it's sort of esports because it's Dr. Mario and that's the most esports game there is, but, you know, it's, this isn't a competitive, this is just a training day. But, whew, I oh, feel the stress taking Dr. Mario this seriously. Gee, I must be out of practice. You know, this should be second nature. Second nature, like, like breathing or riding a bicycle. 
Or riding a breathing bicycle. That'd be weird. You can go up it. Uh, this is looking good, so this is looking like I'm going to get to level 20. Like, I can't see myself stuffing up 19 from here. So, this is going to be an actual legitimate marathon run. I am I am this close to it. I really hope that um, my computer is actually recording that, because I haven't checked it for about an hour, and if I... If, if, this, if this happens and I... and I'm not recording it because I've run out of hard drive space, or my computer's just decided to have a fritz, I am going to be... I'm going to be really upset. Um, and I don't think, I don't think, uh, you, you want to see me upset. I don't think it's really me and my best light. So let's just hope. If you're, if you're listening to this, everything is cool. And I've either crashed and burned excellently on level 20, or I've done it. So, oh, there's a red cell, in that, red line in that bottom corner I didn't see. Okay. 24. Four hundred thousand, no, two hundred forty thousand going into level twenty. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, I think that might have been the wrong move. That's all right, though. Oh, Sean, Sean, I know it's too early to brag, but dude, I have finally done it. I have destroyed the medium marathon. Absolutely wrecked it. Like, I know that looked tense for a moment, but, oh, um, this feels good. I'm going to ruin it, talking about how good this feels, but this feels really good. You should try it. I mean, it's worth the sore back and the late night and all the dumb conversations with the people on the internet that don't care about my dumb conversations. And it's worth it, because here I am, having done the medium marathon. Now, I know it's still premature, still early, but I'm feeling really good about this. This is all coming together. So the question is, uh, so the question is, uh, when I finish level twenty, do I keep playing? Should I see how much further I can get? I don't think I can resist seeing how much further I can get, even though I'm probably going to crash and burn on twenty-one. Um, but yeah, we might as well, huh? See how high we can push this score. We're at two hundred fifty thousand at the moment, and the only way that you I don't think I explained that earlier, but the, the only way that you can sort of increase your score in this game is by getting clearing multiple viruses at once. It's the only thing that changes your score. Otherwise, you just get score for the viruses that you clear. 
and it's only the viruses that you clear. Uh, none of the other rows that you're creating and then destroying are worth anything at all. It's just cleared viruses. Um, but if you clear multiple viruses at once, you score more points. Um, well, actually, I think it's only if you cascade. No, it, it, yeah, if you if you score multiple viruses at once, you get points. Um, so you know you, you don't you don't think about maximizing points, but I guess if you're playing that sort of multiplayer attitude where you're trying to score. Um, a bunch of viruses at once, or a bunch of rows at once to mess with your opponent, then you're sort of playing with the right kind of mindset to get a big score. Um, I don't know what a big score to people who, you know, actually care about big scores. I don't know what a big score is, but this one is probably, well, the fact that I'm going to finish level 20 almost certainly means that this is the highest score that I've ever got in Dr. Mario. Um... I really keep an accurate record of that sort of stuff, but I, I, I'm so glad I went through the effort of getting my computer recording for this, because I know if I went to you on Friday, Sean, and said I finally finished the marathon, that you would say to me, picks or it didn't happen. Well, picks, brother, picks. Right now, I am, uh, I'm doing it. It is Thursday morning, the... It's February. I don't even know what the date is anymore. That's how, that's how tired I am. I go to work every day. I don't even know the date, but I'm doing this as much as I just screwed that up. So the trash talking, the bagging has definitely begun. I'm sorry about that. I was trying to keep a good attitude, positive attitude, um, but I'm feeling uh, overconfident, which is nice. So Sean, um, your challenge first, I guess, is, uh, and Dave, anyone else that's watching this video that wants to join in uh, the hype that is the Adelaide Dr. Mario scene, which, because I know it's a serious scene, there's a lot of hype, and who wouldn't want to get in on that? If you want to get in on that, um, the challenge I'll lay down to you is uh, is to beat this score uh, on on medium, or you know, just to beat this score generally, if you can beat this score on high. Uh, all power to you, because high is still way too fast for me. I guess that'll be my next challenge, is to attempt to attempt to finish this game on high um, speed. Uh, but I'm going to need a lot more practice for that. Turns out a few months off Dr. Mario is really good for you, because that, that is level 20 clear. And this is, this is the best moment of my Dr. Mario life. And that's, that's been a long and wonderful life. I'd like to thank my family. Uh, I'd like to fa thank my wife for, for letting me play Dr. Mario in the middle of the night. I'd like to thank the Oscars for teaching me how to make a speech and um, free, free child slaves everywhere. Thank you. That is a dinosaur riding an egg through the sky because I just finished level 20. Go you dinosaur, go. Okay, time to prove that that was all a complete coincidence and do level 21. Complete coincidence? Complete fluke. Coincidence is not the right word. It's working again! What is going on? Jeez! A little bit of time off Dr. Mario is good for you. You're good for your game. Things... 
You know, I mean, I was complaining about the selection of colours I was getting earlier, but when I needed it, when the... We've been up against the wall here, and when that's happened, I've got all the colours I needed. Uh, truly, Dr. Mario is a saint for... Oh, hoi! Hoi, 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 uh, Whoops! Uh, for providing me with the right colours. Truly, Dr. Mario is a saint, and um, I'm sure... I'm, I'm sure that he will help me out of this little bind as well. Uh, he will intercede with me, for me, uh, with the gaming, the gaming god slash gods. Get me out of the little mess that I just got into, because I'm so I was suddenly colorblind. I don't know. I don't even know what that was. That's right, keep handing me those yellow blocks. Oh, my leg is completely asleep. No! Oh, oh, that was not good. Okay, it's getting faster, it's getting faster, can't afford any more mistakes. Already slowed things up too much as it is. Well, why did I drop it? See, this is when you get focused on that strange stuff on the side of the map and doesn't matter, and you do dumb stuff like that. Like I was saying earlier. Oh, 21 down! Let's go! Oi! Not the plan.
This is just a ludicrously good one I'm having here. Like, sometimes you just get those nice maps that are easily clearable like this one, but you just don't ex I mean, the last couple haven't been this nice, but this had a really good run. I mean, I'm, I'm a lucky boy. And, and, and sadly, you know, so much of this game does come down to whether you had a good run, whether you got the right levels, um, but... Perseverance, hard work, and not playing the game for ages really pays off. I don't think I ever finished level 22. This will be... This is a real night for records. Like, um... For Dr. Mario, personal bests, um... Uh, out there. This truly is a blessed night for Dr. Mario. insane in the membrane. Uh, I know most of you watching this video probably don't um, don't see that many Dr. Mario videos. You don't realise how unlikely this um, this thing is. It, it, like, it, like I was saying before, I reckon I got about a 50% chance on a good day of, of passing level 20 of Dr. Mario. So the fact that I've been out of pass uh, level 20 this many times in a row. Because cause it doesn't get any harder. Oh, well, to the best of my knowledge, it doesn't get any harder past level 20. Um, like I said, I've never been past here. Um, but as far as I know, it, it just basically repeats the same difficulty level until you lose. Um, which means we could be here a while, <laughs> given given how things are working for us tonight. But um, I don't think that's going to happen. I think I'll have brain fade sometime soon. <laughs> 